closing the eyes and just allowing yourself to go inward. Check into the body, check in and see how you feel. Each day bringing us new challenges during this time. I ask you to connect with your heart. Let go of the mind chatter and just be present here for the next hour. Trying to find that balance of being and doing between worry and peace and anxiety and freedom. If we can come to the middle between those emotions, may we find stillness. So with this practice, we'll spend 30 minutes heating it up and moving a little quicker, and then we'll cool down by slowing it down with some yin poses. Keeping the eyes closed, hands at the heart center. Draw the breath in. Open the mouth and exhale it all out. <sighs> Two more like that. Inhale. And exhale. <sighs> One more. Keeping the eyes closed, let the hands come down to the knees, palms either facing up or down. Each day is different. Do you need to root in or do you need to receive something? Maybe a message, some insight, a little love, a little connection, whatever that might be. Allow the breath to settle, watching it move in and out of your body. And as you move through this practice, see if you can listen to my voice rather than watching what I'm doing. Listen for the cues. Don't be distracted by your phone, by the texts coming through, by the phone calls you might be receiving. Just allow, listen to my voice and be guided. From here, you can gently shift into a child's pose. Knees are wide, toes are touching. Draw the hips back. Allow the heart to melt. Let the arms come long. Just coming into this pose of rest. Maybe it's the first time you've gotten close to Mother Earth in a few days. Just absorb this energy. Focusing on the breath now, coming in and out of your nose. As you draw the breath in, you fill the body with breath and light. And as you exhale, you release and let go anything that's no longer serving you. Find this natural rhythm. Allow the breath to serve you as you breathe deeply in and out. Not forcing it, not trying to control it, just lengthening it naturally. From here, walking the hands over to the right. Maybe the left hand comes on top of the right palm. Draw the left hip back towards the heel. Soften here. Continuing the breath. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale to the left side, right hand on top of left palm, draw the right hip back, feel that stretch along the side, right rib cage. And coming back to center. Rise into a tabletop position, stacking wrist, elbows, and shoulders. Look between the legs, make sure the knees and ankles are in alignment. Let's roll into a cow and cat. Inhale, dropping the belly, lifting through the heart. Take the gaze up. Exhale and round, pressing the earth away. Adding the feet if you like. Inhale, allowing the toes to curl, stretch through the arches. Exhale and round. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. 
Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to a neutral tabletop. Take a deep inhale. Draw the right arm to the sky. Gaze to the thumb. Exhale, thread it through. Right shoulder down to the earth. Right ear, right temple to the earth. Pause here. Inhale, swim the left hand behind, finding the inside of the right hip. Maybe stacking and sending that left leg straight back. Your choice. Breathe here. Exhale and release. Gently unthread. Press yourself up. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, back to center to the earth. Left side. Inhale, rise. Exhale, thread it through. Left ear to the floor. Inhale, sweeping right arm up and around, finding the crease of the left hip. Breathe here. Maybe adding that right foot up and back. Long leg, breathe. In and out. Exhale and release. Gently come back, ground through the palm. Inhale, lift the left arm to the sky. Coming right back to tabletop. Press into the earth. First downward dog of your practice. Shift up and back. Start to walk the heels right and left. Find some space. Work out any tension. Walk the hands all the way back towards the feet. Take a bend in the knees. Come into ragdoll, clasping opposite elbows, letting gravity draw you down. That gentle sway from side to side. Shake the head no and yes. Let go. Where can you soften a little deeper? Release the hands, let the arms dangle. Press to the earth, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Last one. Inhale, halfway long spine. Exhale and fold. From here, take a deep bend in the left knee, straighten through the right, walk the hands to the outside of the right foot. Fold over yourself. Head is heavy. Come back to center, deep bend in the right knee, walk the hands over to the left, straighten through the left leg. And come back to center, walking the hands all the way out, coming into a plank position, strong core, strong body. Hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Gently lower down. Inhale, rise into baby cobra. Press the toes to the earth, maybe lifting hands. Exhale and release. Take a moment to roll the head from side to side to smooth out any wrinkles in the forehead, to smooth out the third eye, find peace here. Come back to center, ground through the hands, roll the shoulders back and up and gently look over the right shoulder. Come back to center and over the left and come back to center. Curl right back, downward dog, breathing here, in and out through the nose. Inhale, look through to the hands. Tippy toe your way all the way to the top of your mat. Exhale and fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way up, arms overhead. Right back to heart center. Back to Samastitihi. Surya A. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Ground through the palms, step or hop back. Chaturanga down. Rise up, Bhujangasana. Exhale, shift back, downward dog, breathing here, in and out, checking on the breath. Look through to the hands, step, hop forward, exhale, fold, inhale, root to rise, come all the way up, back to heart center, second set, inhale, rise up, exhale, bow to the earth, Inhale, let your heart reach forward. Exhale, bend the knees, ground through the palms, bend the elbows if you're hopping back. Chaturanga down. Inhale, rise. Upward dog. 
Exhale, shift back, downward dog. Breathing here, deeply in and out. Gaze forward. You can walk, hop, or step forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Come all the way up. Bringing the hands to touch the crown, the third eye, the throat, the heart, the solar plex, the navel. Let the hands come down to root in. Rise, come all the way up. Connecting mind and heart together once again. This time, Surya B. So bring the feet together, knees together, sit down, tuck the tailbone, come into chair. Exhale, fold. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. Step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, rise, bhujangasana. Shift back, downward dog. Root into the left heel, rise with the right foot. Exhale, step through, warrior one. One breath, one movement. Exhale, flow it down. Chaturanga all the way. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, shift back. Root into the left heel, I'm sorry, the right heel. Sweep up with the left foot. Draw it through. Fear one. Rise, come up. Exhale, down. Inhale, open cobra. Exhale, shift back, downward dog. Breathing here, just warming the body. Breathing in and breathing out. Making breath with movement. Look through to the hands. Step, hop forward. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, sit down, rise, come right back into chair. Back to Samastitihi. Last round. Inhale, back to chair. Exhale, fold over yourself. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. Make sure you grab through those palms, hop it back. Chaturanga down. Rise, Bhujangasana. Shift back, downward dog. Good, right foot to the sky. Draw it all the way through. Rise, warrior one. Exhale it down. Chaturanga, rise up, cobra. Shifting back, downward dog. Left foot to the sky, step it through. Rise, warrior one. Exhale it down. Rise, come up. Shifting back, downward dog. Breathing here, checking in. Is your breath serving you? Look through to the palms, walk, step, or hop forward. Exhale and fold. Bend the knees. Inhale, root to rise. And back to Samastitihi. Very good. Pop the feet apart. Padahastasana. Bow forward. Come down. We're going to slide the palms underneath the toes. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Let your head be heavy. Breath serving you in and out. Very nice. Releasing the hands now, walking the feet to the outsides of your mat. Sit down, coming into Malasana Yogic Squat. So taking elbows to press into thighs, thighs into elbows, long spine, breathe here. Breath in and breath out. It's very challenging to teach and speak. <laughs> so bear with me if I'm out of breath. Good, last breath here. And gently release. Bring the feet back to look like the number 11. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Good, ground through the palms. Step back with the left foot. Come into low lunge. Power up here. Ground through the left palm. Peel open with the right. 
Gaze to the right thumb. Breathe here. In and out. Stimulating the core just a bit. Draw that right hand in. Draw it towards the belly. Round through the back. Exhale. Bring it to the sky. Inhale. Hand towards the belly. Press up. Round through the back. Come down and bring it to the sky. Two more. Coiling in. Exhaling up. Last one. Very nice. Framing the foot, dropping the left knee down, left toes down, rise into Anjane Asana, your best version. So maybe arms are here, maybe arms are cactus, or maybe you're finding a bind. Drawing the knuckles down. Feel that open through the front body, breathe. And gently release. Framing the right foot, draw the right hip back. Half Hanumanasana, toes may follow. Breathe here. Gently come back to a low lunge, ground through the palms, power up through the left leg. From here, we're gonna come into standing split. Gaze towards the toes. Maybe you play with balance here. Drawing the right hand behind the calf. Breathe, point, check in. Release any bind. Flex through the left foot. Let the left leg come down straight to meet the right. Exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, step the right foot back, coming into a low lunge. From here, ground the right palm down, peel open with the left. Breathe. Keep the right leg strong. And let's draw that energy into the core as we coil in. Hand comes underneath the leg, round coil, and send it back up. Pulsing here. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale it up. Two more. Last one. Very nice. Frame the left foot. Drop the right knee. Anjane Asana on the other side, whatever version you took on the right. Inhale, arms up. Maybe bend, maybe a bind. Breathe here. And release. Framing the left foot, power up through the right leg, back to a low lunge, kick off standing split. Right foot to the sky, practicing balance, whatever you did on the other side. Breathe here. And let's ground through the palms, flex through the right foot, allow the right foot to come down, straight leg, and meet the left. Exhale and fold. Good. From here, bring the feet together. Come right back into chair pose. So sinking down into chair, hands to the heart center. So a little different this time. From here, we're gonna take a twist, taking the right elbow to the left knee. Palms come together, ring it out. Rotating from the rib cage, send that right hip back, watch the right knee. Maybe opening here. And gently come back, stay down. Legs are feeling it, other side. So taking left elbow to right, palms together. See if you can get your heart above the hands, ring it out, maybe peeling open. and come back to center, stay down, drop it down, drop it down, <laughs> drop it down, bring your hands behind you, come all the way down, very nice. From here, let's go ahead and come into a low boat. So low boat, shoulders are lifted, gaze is to the ceiling, core is tight, lower back pressed into the floor, breathe here for 10, nine, Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Reach, long stretch, full body. Breath in and breath out. Bring the knees back into the chest. Keep the lower back flat on the earth. Rock and roll just a little bit. From here, leg extension. So bringing the hands behind the head, gaze is to the sky. Send the left leg out, flex. Keep everything lifted and switch and flex. Gazing to the ceiling, shoulders back and switch. Good, and switch and switch. Let's do 10 more. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Keep the knees in towards the chest. Keep the shoulders lifted. I know. And now let's add a little twist. So left leg is going to come out, left elbow to right knee. Reach it out. Come back. Right to left and reach it out. Come back and switch. Keeping it with your breath. Movement with the breath. Here we go, 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, keep those shoulders lifted, draw the knees into the chest, let the head come back down now. Cleansing breath in, cleansing breath out. On your next inhale, start to rock and roll. We're gonna rock and roll all the way up into high boat. Hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the feet down, hands come to the heart center. A little bit of twist. Left elbow close to the earth as you can, palms press together. Back to center. Right and to center. Left and to center. Let's count. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Very nice. From here, bring the knees into the chest, wrap your arms around, take a moment to just coil inward. Check in with yourself. Check in with the breath. Let's keep it moving. Crossing the ankles, let's roll forward, come right back up into a high plank. Hold here. Breathing in and breathing out. From here, strong belly, strong core. Let's drop it down to our forearms, holding here. Breath in and out. Count of 20. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Press it back up. High plank. Shift back. Downward dog. Beautiful, look through to the hands, step hop forward, exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way up. Hands back to heart center. How are we doing, good? So 
So let's spread the feet apart. We're gonna come into a squat, a little different. I know my yogis like core. So let's sit down into a squat, hands to the heart center, drop the pelvis down. And from here, we're gonna do a twist and bring the knee up. So we're gonna to twist to the right, right knee comes up. Twist and sit it down. Twist and sink it down. Twist, squeeze those glutes. Twist and down. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. We haven't fun yet. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold, squeeze. Hold, hold, hold. Arms come straight out, sit down, hold. Good, from here, fold over yourself, interlace the hands, chest to thighs. Rinse it out. Slowly draw yourself all the way back up. Come right back into chair, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Ground through the palms, step it back, hop it back, your choice. Chaturanga down. Rise, come up. Exhale, back. Good, right foot to the sky. Step it through, warrior one. Rise, warrior one. Beautiful, be here. Come into grounded airplane, hands come back, thumbs up, leaning over that right leg. Come onto the ball of the left foot. Take flight. Whoops, I'm gone. Take flight. Breathe, breathe. So strong. Gently come up, bringing that left knee into chest, arms overhead, left arm underneath right. Come into eagle. Sit it down, wrap the foot, bind. Knee to elbow, draw it down. Smallest version of yourself. You can crunch it in. Two. And three. Release, peel it open, airplane. Step back, warrior one. Exhale, move through your vinyasa. Chaturanga down. Shift back, downward dog. Other side, inhale. Left leg forward. Rise into warrior one. Breathe here. Relax those shoulders. Peel it back, grounded airplane. Leaning over that left thigh, come onto the right ball of the foot. Breathe, take flight. Our balance is off during this time, so don't judge yourself. Breath in, breath out. Slowly rise, come up, arms up, right knee over left, bind, coming into eagle, right arm underneath left, sit down, coil in, breathe. Challenging poses, we lose our breath, maybe taking a crunch in, two, whoop, and three. Peel it back and open, come into airplane, step it back, warrior one. Exhale, move through your vinyasa. Shifting back, downward dog. Breathe here. One more flow and we'll take it to the inside. Inhale, right foot to the sky. Right knee to right bicep. Send it back. Right knee to nose and send it back. Right knee to left bicep, kick it through, fallen star. Breathe here. 
exhale, draw it back and up, three-legged dog, right foot meets left, left foot to the sky, left knee to left bicep, send it back, left knee to nose, and send it back, left knee to right bicep, kick it through, peel it open. Gently release, draw it all the way back, three-legged dog. Left foot meets right, drop the knees, shift back into a child's pose. Beautiful. From here, let's start to slowly bring the knees together. Rise onto the knees. So we can do a little bit of back bending, a little camel. So with camel, support your lower back, fingertips facing down. Take a moment to press the hips forward, melt the shoulders down and back. You want to go down equally, so not reaching back one heel versus the other, coming back here. If that's not available, stay here hands supporting the lower back. Press the hips forward, draw the shoulders down and back, reach up, breathe here. Let your heart open. Rise, come up, beautiful, sit it down. Coming into a counter pose, let's come into rabbit. So from here, bringing the hands behind, reaching for the heels, fingertips in, thumbs out. Forehead as close to the knees as possible, and lift your rabbit tail. Arms are long. And gently from here, slowly rise and round and come up. Hands come to heart center. Take a moment to honor your standing practice. Now as we come into the inside of it. So for my yogis that like hot yoga, take this outside. As you can see, I'm sweating. I'm in the studio. It's about 85. But if you really want to fire it up, do that practice. Take it outside. Get a suntan while you're doing it. Right? So from here, let's let the legs get long. Maybe walk the hips back just a little bit. Coming into our first yin pose, caterpillar. So with caterpillar, we're gonna soften through the lower back and soften through the back of the legs. Allow the palms to be facing up. No gripping, I don't want you to hold on to anything. I want you just to surrender, surrender down. And for those of you that may not have a yin practice, we stay in the pose for about five minutes. So from here, go ahead and allow yourself to melt into yourself. Chest melts into the thighs. Check in with your breath. Try to slow the breath down now. Coming into the yin side of practice. Breathing here. So I know we're bound by so much information coming at us from the television, from social media, from our neighbors. We're on high alert when it comes to worry and anxiety. So it's so critical to make sure you're taking time to get outside, finding balance in your life. I hope you're using this time to connect with your family, to do some things that you've had in the back of your mind that you just haven't had time for, because this time is a gift. So allow now this yin side to be the part of the practice that we just be and allow. We just got done doing the doing part in the vinyasa, so now let's do the being part. Notice when we just be how everything starts to peel away. 
We feel that relaxation come into our bodies. The breath calms down. The thoughts start to quiet. Surrender here. And if the thought comes back into the mind, see if you can just start to bring that awareness back to the breath and where the breath is going to in your body. We're here one more minute. See if you can keep the awareness inward, letting the distractions from your home drift away. And as we come out of this pose, moving as slow as possible, tucking the chin, letting the head be heavy, and slowly rising, enjoying the journey out of this pose. And once the head rises, keep the eyes closed. Melt the shoulders down and back. Feel that gentle lift at the heart. Beautiful and relax. From here, let's bring the knees in. Coming into butterfly. You can take a moment just to kind of flutter. And from here, I want you to draw the heels in. Notice what you're feeling. If you draw the heels in, you're gonna get a deeper opening in the groin. If you allow the feet to be out, you'll feel this more in the lower back. So choose what option is best for you. And then from here, I want you to open the feet and take a moment to tuck the chin and start to slowly draw yourself down, holding on to the feet like you're opening a book and someday envisioning that the top of your head comes to the inside of the feet feeling this nice curve through the lower spine, through the back. And again, not forcing, not really gripping, just watching the breath move in and out of your body, allowing time to pass. And as time passes, we learn to let go a little more. We learn to trust and to have faith. We have to have faith in ourselves and in the divine. If we can start by healing ourselves, we then can start by healing the planet. So you might notice during this time, thoughts arise, things that from the past are coming up. You might find yourself becoming angry easier with family members, being confined. But take a look at what it really is. We're in a purge, we're in a cleansing time. We have to accept what arises, clear that space and let it go.
from here again, slowly tucking the chin, rise and round, come up. Keep the eyes closed. Just acknowledge the sensations of what you're feeling without judging them. Scanning the body once again. Checking into the breath. From here, bring the knees together. Let the feet come flat and allow yourself to go ahead and come all the way down, one vertebra at a time, enjoying the journey down. Once you arrive, bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze, hugging in, rocking and rolling from side to side, massaging the lower back. And then from here, let's come into a bridge. We'll be here for a few moments. So making sure that you can take the hands and your middle finger gently touches the back of your heel. I want you to roll the shoulder blades underneath, press through the feet, keep the knees tracking the same alignment with the feet. Interlace the palms, draw the knuckles towards the heels and lift up. Making sure there's space between the chin and the chest. Make sure that you're not pressure or allowing pressure to happen in the neck and that the weight is in the shoulders. Keep the gaze towards the ceiling, not towards your phone or computer. Just breathe here. See if you can find that balance between the doing and the being of this pose. Gently, slowly coming down. Let the tailbone come to the earth. Let the spine be flat. Let the legs get long now. Arms overhead, full body stretch. And release, bringing the hands straight back down through the meridian of the body, back to the heart. Bring the feet flat to the earth once again, coming into a supine twist. So from here, let's take the right leg and cross it over the left. Pick up the hips, bring them to the right side of your mat, and let the left hand guide the right legs over, keeping the shoulders anchored in, taking a gaze over the right shoulder and adding the arms. Maybe out to a T, maybe getting into the shoulders, coming into gold post. Be where you're at. Allow those shoulders to stay anchored, pausing here. So we'll be here for a few minutes. Close the eyes. Just enjoy the ringing out of the body. For my bendy yogis, if you want to take it one step further, you can come into cat pulling its tail. So straightening through that right leg, reaching with the left hand for the foot, and maybe finding a bind now, right hand to left foot. Keeping the shoulders anchored, opening up. Again, just an option. If that's too much, come back into supine twist. These are just options. See what serves you today. Coming back to the peace, free from the distractions and the noises from home. Notice how it feels when you surrender, when that internal battle is put on pause. You find freedom in your breathing, freedom in your movement.
enjoying the silence. For it's the silence that takes us inward. Coming back slowly, bringing the head back to center, bringing the legs up, and slowly sliding now the right ankle on top of the left knee and drawing the legs now to the right side. If that's too much, you can take the foot off the top of the thigh and now gently turning the head to the left. Melting into the earth. I sure do miss you guys. Feeling this connection, even though that we're not together, but as I send intention of being with you during this time, as my heart connects with your heart. And slowly from here, bringing the head back to center, Gently bringing the legs back up, releasing now, taking right leg off of left. Find the outside edges of your mat and just let the knees fall in. Pausing here. Scan the body. And then gently open the legs once again. This time, let's take the left leg, left knee over right, cross, maybe double bind if you did it on the other side. Pick up the hips, take them to the left side of the mat. Take the right hand, guide the knees towards the right. Gaze over the left shoulder, wringing out the spine here. Breathe. Staying here or coming into cat pulling its tail if you like. Again, kicking that left leg straight, finding the palm of the right hand, holding the foot, and maybe clasping left hand to right foot and looking over the left shoulder. Again, just an option. In the end, we don't force, we just allow. Take up some more space, move the body, and then find stillness. Can you be present to the voice of the heart? During this time, it's almost like we have to take our head off the body and put it away so it stops thinking so much. That's what our practice does. It brings us more towards the heart, towards the breath, connecting us with a higher self, our more authentic self, not the fearful self, not the ego mind.
gently bringing the head back to center. Slowly bringing the knees back. Let the right foot be flat. Take the left ankle on top of the right knee. Find the spine flat for a moment. And now just draw the knees over towards the left as we gaze to the right. Doing so good by unwinding and being present. gently coming back, releasing the left ankle off the right, walking the feet to the outside edges of the mat, let the knees fall in. From here, opening the legs up. Let the feet come to the very outside edges of your mat. So you're opening the legs wide, coming into banana asana. So from here, I want you to go ahead and clasp left hand to right wrist. Take the left ankle to come all the way over to the left ankle. So you feel this curvature happening on the right side. Pick up the shoulders and walk the shoulders over to the right. So deep stretch along the IT bands, the outside of the right side body, up through the armpit, through the shoulder, all the way down to the pinky toe. Soften here. You can take the gaze and gently look towards the left. Surrender. Taking a deep breath, inhale, open the mouth, whisper it out. <sighs> Bringing the upper body back to center, releasing the right foot off the left ankle, and let's switch sides. From here, clasping the right hand around the left wrist, drawing yourself over to the right, upper body first, lift and place the left ankle over the right, feeling this deep stretch through the hip region, through the ribs, the armpit, all the way down the left leg. Gently turn the head towards the right shoulder. Soften here, keeping the left shoulder anchored. Making space at the waist. Stay present.
cleansing breath in. Open the mouth, let it go. Come back to center. Uncross the legs. Take up some space. Become that human X. Arms overhead, legs extend outward. Just release and let go. From here, taking any pose that you feel you need, maybe bringing the knees into the chest, coming into happy baby, reaching the outside of the pinky toes, rocking and rolling. Maybe it's a shoulder stand or an inversion. Take five breaths here and come into whatever pose you need before we shift into Shavasana. I'm gonna come up, five deep breaths, take your time here. Move your body organically. Listen to what it needs and how you can serve it. If anything, during this time, you should be coming more intuitive because you've been given the opportunity to do exactly that, listen and pause. From here, wherever you're at, start to move into Shavasana. Legs are long. You're on your back. Take up some space on your mat and just arrive. And then from here, with the eyes closed, lift the hips and replace them back on the earth. Draw the shoulder blades out from underneath you, finding the spine long and flat. And then take an opportunity just to roll the head from side to side as you find yourself being supported by Mother Earth. Palms facing up, down by the sides, Come into that Shavasana pose, corpse pose, little death is what it means. Don't rob yourself of Shavasana. I see so many people rush out of the room and don't enjoy, but this is where the magic happens. This is where the energy that you've created goes to the parts of the body that need healing. And again, healing yourself first so that we can then heal our planet. It's this universal consciousness that's coming into play. So listen intuitively. Take action when you hear that voice. From here, nothing to do but be. Eyes are closed. Breath is flowing naturally in and out. As I share just a few words of wisdom from one of my favorite books, Meditation from the Mat. 